Congratulations, Athens boys. What an exciting Woo! game it was to be at. We had a great time, but 62 degrees here in Athens, and watch out for storms tonight. JC? We'll take care of that in just a second. We got a packed house today. Good morning, I'm Jamie Cooper. This is Athens in the AM on a special edition because Athens won big time yesterday. Woo! Congratulations, Coach Stafford, Athens Golden Eagles. We'll have more video in just a second. But first, join me on this special edition Thursday. Look who's Two back. Louisianians <laughs> and Tom's back Tom. in action. Yeah, Tom. <laughs> Good to have you back, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Tim, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. Shut up, I know how you are. <laughs> Woo -hoo, number one recruit in yeah. 2015 already, baby. And not, Get out of not to forget anybody in his... Customary position each and every morning, Bama Zach. I got bumped off the seat. Is, uh, uh, that's your new position, Zach. That's my spot. Zach's over there. You correctly predicted the game yesterday. I absolutely. I predict, I predict, I, just ask me stuff. I got, I got the kid going <laughs> to Alabama. I got Athens. We can just ask me anything. You I'll got predict. D. Hart going to jail? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's Zach, not hard to predict. Zach is coming up to be our new swami. He's gone. Uh, I can't replace Keith now. Uh, nobody so can, but. We missed him over there yesterday at the game, too. Give a shout-out oh, to our good friend Randy White getting us in over there. Yeah. Dusty and Patsy McLemore for all of us going over there together yesterday. A lot of things to talk We have a special entertainment today. We Gloria's do. booked her. She's 13 years old in here this morning. 13? She's not 13. <laughs> Seven, what is she, I six? Seven years old. Seven years old. Next American Idol right here on ZTV. Right. Yeah. We'll hear from her in the second half hour of the program this morning. <laughs> Don't forget this portion of the show brought to you by Hometown Market. Five locations near you in the Hometown Market kitchen. We may be cooking in here before long. Tim, it'd be nice if you cooked up something today in here. Yeah, we're visiting. <laughs> Tim's Cajun Kitchen. We'll talk to him just a little bit. Hey, all this video that you're selling at, I shot about mm, almost 30 minutes yesterday. You'll be able to see that this morning as soon as Abby gets that downloaded there to YouTube. So We're all you people can watch that today. How do they do it? All you have to do is go to YouTube.com and you can type in ZTV Cooper and hopefully it'll be on our page. We're working on that this morning for you. All right, let's quickly go over that forecast. Everyone really take a look at the weather for tonight. Really doesn't start until about 4 or 5 o'clock p.m. as far as the storms and most of the rain. But we do have rain in the forecast today, 100% anyway. High temperatures around 73 and because of such warm weather temperatures out there, we're going to have threat of tornadoes. So please keep that in mind. Tomorrow, high temperatures of 57. In full sunshine. Looks like things will start blooming over the weekend, hopefully. And look at the weekend forecast. Not bad at all. No rain to worry about. And we get some sunshine and temperatures sticking around 30s. Just in time for the chili the challenge. That's right. Mm -hmm. Saturday. Yeah, I made some chili the other day. Yeah, we'll be pretty good. We'll be hanging out. Tim, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. Still open, Tim's Cajun Kitchen? Oh, yeah. 21 <laughs> years now. How long? 21 years. 21 years. Yeah. Thank so you. We got Jerry Bright in here taking photos this morning. He's our webmaster and master right. of you need a website, herbs and you. more. Lawrence, and everybody else. Don Simon. Jerry, he they is the master plan. Mm -hmm. Tom, what's going on in your world? Well, I'm back to work full time. I bet your wife's glad. Hey, she sure is. <laughs> get me out of the house. <clears throat> She's got him all well. She's been working. Oh, yeah. Too, so. If it hadn't well, been for her, I up. probably wouldn't have made it. Of course, the grace of God got me here, though. Obviously. Almost a year ago, man. That's right. It's Almost a year a ago. Time. Donnie, great. Oh, but we missed Miranda down yesterday. Glory said she saw Mac. Mm -hmm. I did. Miranda Shout saw y'all. Uh, Kevin Ball saw That's him down there yesterday. Kevin. Yeah, Kevin's the leader of the... Uh, yeah. Kevin Ball is the leader of the student section, so all he's taken over pretty good. To, and, you know, he's lost a lot of weight. That kid's lost... About 40 pounds. Really? Yeah, he oh, looks I'm good. So. Well, let's let's, so check, let's check over to Zach right now. Zach, the game yesterday, Athens had him 20 points, man, in the beginning. I, it was 18-2. I was listening on the radio, and I was all fired up. I, I knew Winona, three-time defending champs, would make a run, but when they got it to tied it in the third quarter, I got kind of nervous. They hit seven three-pointers in a row, man. I mean, the kid that's going to Alabama, I heard he had a, I think he scored 24, but he missed some critical free throws, you know, down at the end. So, uh, that's a good commitment. Big win for Coach Tedford and that team. I mean, that's, that's I mean, uh, Giddy's what scored 32 and had 12 rebounds. His brother had 17 points and 17 rebounds. <laughs> he got, looks like a linebacker, don't Oh, yeah. Well, you know, he's, he's going <laughs> to play football in college. Well, I tell you what, that was my first time to see Athens play this year. I got to give a shout out to their coach, man. He gets wild down there, don't hey, he? Tedford, Tedford is, uh, I tell you, he's very, very competitive, man. He, very he gets uh, he gets wild down there. We're gonna have more video of that coming up in just a little bit too. Uh, 
East got beat. Tanner won. Yeah. Tell us, update us a little bit, Zach. Yeah. Yesterday in the girls, Tanner girls won. Uh, Red Bay, I'm sure can watch. They won. 5A East girls got beat by Pleasant Grove, 50 to 48. Uh, in the uh, 5A girls, uh, Brewer won. Arab won. In the boys, Tanner won. Uh, Lexington got beat. 5A, of course, Athens win. They will play Parker tomorrow at two o'clock. Uh, today you got Madison Academy against Winfield, Lauderdale County, the Good Hope, Priceville, and Rogers playing, and then 3A boys, Madison Academy, uh, Covert County, East Lawrence will play Johnson, and West Limestone will play Butler tonight. Well, now, what is your prediction for tomorrow, Athens? Uh, Park? The game yesterday was supposed to be the headliner because Winona was a heavy favorite in that game. Athens right? will make it to Birmingham. All right. And I'm taking off work going to Birmingham. I'm, Get out. I'm saving my time off for that. Hey, I got to give Shut uh -huh. a shout out. I saw him at the ball game, and the other day, Terry Ridgeway's daughter was the other girl that was getting the signing Fine. scholarship and didn't know that was his who was signed so his daughter Riley give him a shout out. He has to sit up beside shut up. You, you need, a, need a shout out. All right. Boy you both from Louisiana, correct? Yeah you yep. ain't skipping. Do y'all know who y'all's new congressman may be down that way? Uh -oh. I have no clue. Well, I'm about to show you. Here it is right here. Coming up, a man right here, ex-con Louisiana governor, once jail for racketeering. He's 86. His oh. wife's 35. <clears throat> no. <laughs> oh, oh, he's running for Congress, Tim. Slick. My, my dad's turning over in his grave. <laughs> <laughs> Did he know him? Oh, God. Man, yeah. he was governor for like four terms. In the in a two reality. Two terms laid out and got two terms in again. In the reality show with his two daughters who are like, I seen yeah. some Tom's like, Yeah, he did <laughs> a reality show. <laughs> and he's like, he married a, like a 30 year old girl. She's 35, yeah. She well, got, I think she's having his child or something. Get out! No, I'm serious. I yeah. think she's Look pregnant. Must be something in the water down there. Look at that or somebody in the woodshed. Did, did y'all ever meet this guy personally? <laughs> I didn't meet him personally, but I remember one time he got on TV and, uh, you know, he's a, he was a lawyer. And he pretty much told everybody he was stealing and he was a liar and everything. <laughs> he told him, yeah. But he said it in such a way they couldn't pin it on him. Uh, <laughs> let, me tell you, let me tell you how he got caught. When they was building his house, the uh, FBI went in there and they put their people as the crew. And really? Bugged, yeah, and caught him because they called him Slick Eddie. Is that when that was who it is? And they called him Slick <laughs> Eddie. And yep. he was the him and the San Francisco 49er owner. They got all put in jail. Well, let me ask y'all a simple question: Why would a younger, beautiful woman marry an older guy? I haven't figured out. Why, hey, I've been trying to figure that out already. Hey, come on. Why you know would what? that? Tom's going money. Why you would that? Have any money? I ain't that much older than you. Oh my gosh, you you're, you're, you're yeah. almost in your There's grave. There's a lot buddy. of difference between those two, though. <laughs> hey, do you have arthritis or anything? You have ailments and pains? That's, true. That's God telling you it's coming to an end. You need to get prepared. I got a lot of them. <laughs> she, she's the one that needs to run hey, for governor. I don't know. Speaking of Louisiana, Alabama has got on their schedules, Act. We're playing Louisiana Monroe again in 2015. Well, that's, that's the team that beat us that last That didn't go too good last time. We no, played. Rick Moe called me down there and says, isn't it normal for people to be jumping off the upper deck down here in Tuscaloosa? <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he, he was at that game. Kyle well, Levy was at that game, too. He said it was the worst game he'd ever been to in his Saban life. He might be selling Mercedes for long, so yeah, he so might not uh, be in the coach. Yeah, he's going to sell it. Speaking of the Sabans, his daughter's lawsuit has been good dismissed. Job. Well, good. Yeah, so don't have to worry <laughs> About so that we're not beating up nobody no more. Yeah, <laughs> lawsuit has been dismissed. You know what that means, don't you? What? They shelled out money. You think so? Get rid of that. Yeah. Tom, you still in the real estate business? I am. Don't pull that up yet, Brad. I'm going to ask Tom a, a, a uh -oh. trivia question here. I might, he, have, I might you, have to refer to. Uh, no, you being in the real estate <laughs> business, I got to ask you this question. Where is America's largest mansion? It's for sale. <laughs> largest mansion. Uh, largest mansion. Possible? Close. Shoals Creek. Shoals Creek. Oh, Birmingham. Here's a shot of it. We're moving. I've been thinking about moving, you know, buy me a bigger right. house. Huh? All right. Look here. It's only, what is it? It's down oh to 14 million. Who hey, look at the guitar wow. shape, though. Where a, is uh, this? America's largest mansion. 55,000. Look at the guitar. This is in Alabama? Yeah, it's down there, Birmingham. Ain't where Shoals Creek is, Tom? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Musician, we know I'm that. guessing yeah, really. that's a, I'm guessing that's an upscale neighborhood. It, I'm it, asking it, one more time. time. Who owns it? It's a great, right great golf course area. <laughs> community. Oh my goodness, why uh, you it's owned by a house? former CEO of Physicians Management Giant Med Partners, Larry House, built the thing and two it was on the market in two thousand and eleven for eighteen million dollars. Mm -hmm. And now, Tom, it's dropped. It's almost affordable. <laughs> what? Show that picture of that house again. This house here. It's Drops almost affordable. 
They can watch the utility bill be on that. <laughs> well, it depends what light you turn be, on. Be more than eight hundred dollars, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. <laughs> don't even go there. I don't even. Tim, now that's exactly what a man in the restaurant business needs. I'm Cajun you. restaurant business. They can, can afford Can you believe that. the largest mansion in America is in Birmingham, Alabama? Alabama. Wow. I did not realize that. That's why they're selling it. <laughs> 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 Birmingham. Yeah. Uh, that does not necessarily reflect the price, though. It's square foot largest. It shows Creek is a great golf oh. course area. Yeah. And they've had PGA tournaments there. Yeah, they're the largest, not the price. There's more more expensive yeah. pieces yeah. of property, but 55,000 oh, square feet? Mm-hmm. That is the mall. I thought that dang trailer <laughs> I lived in the first time I was married was big. <laughs> <laughs> what, double wide or triple wide? It, they didn't make double wides back then. It, I was going to say. 13 foot. I lived in a single wide. 14 foot. I lived in a single wide when I first got married. Loved it. Mine was a 14 foot. Hey, I man. wish I still had it instead of this house note. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a well, If you don't straighten up, you may be back in. You I know. Come my wife, I, hey, I told my wife, let's sell the house, move out in the, in in the woods, get us a, a little van down by the river and be happy. Yeah. As soon as our daughter leaves, and go what, to and what she Say. Yeah, well, yeah, what'd she um, say? Yeah, what'd she say? Have it. She said, you can go down by the river if you want to. All right, again, I'm going to take my first break right now. But before I do, we got some video. I want to go back to uh, down at Hansel yesterday, Wallace State. Had a great time down there. Well, I want to thank Patsy and Dusty McNamore for making the trip with us down there yesterday. Yeah, Congratulations. Athens Golden Eagles. What a performance you know what? down there yesterday. Dusty goes to every basketball game. Oh, I see I him know. in every basketball game, and I see him every football game of Athens. And don't forget, you can watch that entire half hour I shot, especially the last half on YouTube today. It'll That's be up right. there by as soon as Abby gets it by 9 o'clock this morning. You can watch all the action and it was a fabulous game. We'll hear more from Zach in just a moment. Let's go to a little bit of that video. We'll take a break. Y'all hang on. What's up, Bob? 